Hey friends, today is the last week of our series, The Abundant Life. We've learned so much through this series about how God, our Good Shepherd, gives us all that we need, how He protects us and leads us, about how He is always with us, fighting for us, and how He provides for us when we're in need. He blesses us with good things. Today we're talking about how God is always with us. We have the most iconic sheep story in the Bible to look at. But before we do that, we have our memory verses to do. Are you ready? Let's do them together for the last time. Here we go. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I won't be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Great job! There is so much about our Good Shepherd that's packed into this one chapter in Psalm 23. If you've worked hard to memorize the whole thing, then you have an entire chapter of the Bible in your memory. And if you haven't memorized it yet, don't worry. You have so much time to get those words in your heart. Our Good Shepherd cares for us, and having these words in our brain helps us to remember that no matter what we face in life, our Good Shepherd is with us. Our story today shows us just how good our Good Shepherd is. He is the one who goes after us, who chases us down when we're lost. Here is the story of the Good Shepherd and the lost sheep. Check it out. Stories of the Bible, the lost sheep. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Wahoo! Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ugh, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Hmm. So Jesus told them this story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, uh, hmm. what will he do? Who stay here? Won't he leave the 99 others and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, hey, he will joyfully carry it home. When he gets home, he will call together his friends and neighbors, saying, Oh, everyone, come here, come here. Celebrate with me, because I have found my lost sheep. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who returns to God than over 99 others who haven't strayed away. The story of the Good Shepherd and the Lost Sheep is one that teaches us of the love of the Good Shepherd. This story shows us that we're never too far from God's love, that He is always ready to welcome us back and to bring us back into His family. Our verses for today say that God's goodness and unfailing love pursue us all the days of our life, and they are true. God loves you so much, He sent His Son Jesus to earth to live with people, to heal people's hearts and our bodies. Jesus came to seek and save the lost, to make a way for people to be part of God's family again after sin had separated us from Him. Just like the shepherd in the story, Jesus left His home in heaven with God, and He came to earth to save us so that we could experience God's goodness and unfailing love all the days of our life. As you work to memorize Psalm 23 this week, remember the ways in which our Good Shepherd loves you. He came to earth to save you and to have a relationship with you. Look for the ways in which God has shared His goodness and His unfailing love with you this week. All right, friends, see you next time for our new series. 
Bye.